Welcome to class 33. If you're doing two classes a week, you're now in your fifth month. We're going to combine some of our techniques now and put them into additional drills. Remember, same context. So first we start out with our warm-up, follow with air drills that pre-frame what we're going to do in the class, then we go into the actual skill section. Today we're going to start with chest protectors, but for purposes of ease, we're just going to leave them on for the first part of the class. So we get the chest protectors on, we're ready for the first series of drills. We're going to combine two combinations. We're going to have round kick, round kick, into step, round kick, round kick. And it looks like this. Bring the athletes back. Now again, the speed during the warm-up is not as important, so they did it nice and quickly at that point. Now we're going to balance it out, have them work through the technique. They go one, two, pause, one, two. Ready? Very nice. We'll bring them back again. Now again, we're practicing the drills and the skills, so during the warm-up phase, they could actually walk through it. They're not really getting anything else warmed up, getting ready for the exercises that will follow. Okay, one more time, we're going to slow it down a little bit, we're going to concentrate on the techniques. So we got two combinations, four kicks, but it's only two combinations. A little slower, with a pause in between. Very nice, good. Now we're going to bring the athletes around, we're going to do the next drill, which is going to be step round kick, round kick. So I want to use the long part of my room, they're going to travel down the long part, they go to the end of the room, they come all the way back, because this is a kinetic drill. So the rhythm on this is step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick. In three, two, one, go! Okay, for the second air drill, I'd like to demonstrate the distance that we travel. So the rhythm on this one's a little bit different than the first one. First one, we went one, two, one, two. This one, we go step, kick, kick, step, kick, kick. So it's one right after the other, almost no break. It's done to bring up the heart rate, but also for them to learn how to do traveling foot on the bottom. In three, two, one, go! Very nice. Good. Now, again, it's a very energetic drill. They're going down the floor. Have them go down the floor, run back, go down the floor, run back. And don't be afraid to get their heartbeat moving on this one. One more time. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go! Very nice. Good. Again, let them concentrate on good technique. Let them concentrate on executing with a nice traveling bottom foot. They're learning how to attack continuously, forcing their opponent out of bounds. Okay? Third series of step drills. Third series. Now again, we could do these with steps or with kicks in the air. We're going to do it with kicks in the air. They're going to go step, round kick, go. Step back, double kick. Excellent drill. Learning how to change distance, learning how to move. They're getting very kinetic now. They're also getting very dynamic in how they're approaching the target. So again, step, round kick, round kick, step back, double kick. Very nice. Back it up. This is going to be followed by step round kick, round kick. Skip back. Up ball double. Very nice. Good. Let's break it down one more time. Now we're going to the energy part. So I'm going to call it. They're going to go step round kick, round kick, step back, double kick. In three, two, one, go! Oh. Good. Bring it back. Bring it back. Now I'm going to bring up the energy for them. I'm controlling the pace during this part. I'm going to get them to the point where they're comfortable with the technique. Now when I call it, I want them to execute it with speed and power. In three, two, one, go! Very nice. Bring it back. Okay, let's try the second one now. Same initial technique. Then we're going on to the up ball double. Let's work it one more time slow. Step round kick, round kick. Now we're learning the, the other opportunities. Skip back. Front leg goes up, up ball double. Very nice. One more time. I'd slow it down like that. Now, if your athletes are comfortable with this, you can leave them there. Or now we can go to the fast part. So I'd go three, two, one, go. Very nice. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, now it's time to move on to the next series of drills. Okay, next drills. We've done it in the air, done with the warm-up. Maybe we've done five or ten minutes in the air. Now we want to get them active, working on their concentration, their focus. 
their ability to hit the target with proper timing, but also speed, power, and balance. So we're putting the whole picture together. Remember, this is step two in developing the belief, belief which translates into confidence, confidence which realizes itself in a point. So again, it's round kick, round kick, step down, step in, round kick, round kick. And it looks like this. Very nice, good, you can bring them back. Now again, these drills can be done a number of different ways. You can do them in place, you can do them in a line, up and down the floor, you can do them free form, like you're working in an actual sparring class. For purposes of the demonstration though, let's focus on two things. We're taking four techniques, two combinations, making it one count. So they're learning how to do multiple combinations at the same time while executing the techniques as if they were sparring. In three, two, one, go! Ha! Good, I'll bring them back again, bring them back again. Very nice. Now again, we can do the same technique with step round kick, step round kick, step round kick, step round kick. So it'll be step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick. Out! Good, then he would run back around the side. They come back ready to do it again. One more time, step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick. Go! Good. Now, if this were an actual class and I was working on a particular skill, I might be working on endurance. At that point, I'm going to sacrifice technique and accuracy just a touch because I want them to work on endurance. However, if I were working on the technique, I'd slow it down a little bit, let them work on the step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next set of target drills. Okay, second set of drills now, second set of drills. This one's done a little bit more in place because it's only two attacks going forward. The rest are counters moving backwards. This one is going to be step round kick, round kick, step back, double kick. Step round kick, round kick, step back, double kick. Looks like this. Let them walk through it, get the energy going right first, then we'll go for full speed and power. Oh! Ah! Very nice, good. Now again, when you're instructing the class on this, the important key factor is to remember, he's got to step down, propel himself backwards. As soon as that foot goes back, remember the Super Bowl concept. Touch, touch, go. Not touch, sink into the floor and go, but touch, foot comes off the floor, goes right back up into the target. Now we're gonna pick up the speed just a little bit. Ready, go! Very nice, good. Now we're gonna put all four techniques together again. So it's gonna be four techniques. Ready, and go! Very nice, because that's how it actually happens during sparring. During sparring, your partner is going to move out of the way and try to re-attack or re-counter. You've got to be able to get back, evade, and then answer with your counter technique. Now we're going to move on to the second set of this. This is going to look like step round kick, round kick, skip back. That's the other option. You don't have to step back. Skip back, but then again, we're going to answer with the front leg into the back leg. Always building the options in our players, letting them know. You don't have to do a particular step. You can skip, you don't have to do a particular kick. You can kick with the front leg or back leg. So we're gonna go slow again, walking, step round kick, round kick. Slide back, up ball. There it is, let's try it one more time. So it's gonna be step, round kick, round kick, slide back, up ball, double. Looks like this. Very nice, good. Now some things to remember. The person who's holding the targets now got to get back in after that first technique. So he evades, evades, then he comes back in deep, forcing this guy to go back and do the up ball double. Ready. Pick it up a little bit. Very nice. Good. Now we're going to take the pause out of it. It's going to be bong, bong, sh bong, bong. Ready. Go. Good. Number of different ways to teach this now. I want you to go slow with it because it's not an easy technique. We're introducing, changing distance. So again, go slow in the beginning so they learn how to move. Then as they, you feel comfortable, they understand how to move backwards, let them punch off the floor to go back. One of the easiest steps is sliding backwards, but one of the hardest steps is sliding backwards. Easy to do improperly, hard to do properly. One more time, with Set. proper speed, proper technique. Very nice, good. Now we're ready to move on to the next series of drills. Okay, next series of drills. Finally, we're doing contact to the body. Finally, we're doing contact to the body. 
By now you're in month five of the program. It's a good time to introduce that contact to the body if you haven't already. A couple of things to remember about contact to the body. We don't want to sacrifice speed. We do want to sacrifice power. The only alternative is to put two chest protectors on or additional padding. Again, if we were doing these drills very seriously, we'd have the athletes in arm guards, shin guards, full headgear and mouthpiece just for safety. But we also want them to get used to the competition environment. So we put them in full competition regalia. For the purposes of demonstration, we'll leave them like this. So again, he's not sacrificing speed, he's sacrificing power. So I wanted to focus on the speed, proper placement of the foot on the target area, and then returning to a well-balanced fighting stance. I'm gonna break it down just once. It's round kick into round kick. Ha! Ha! Now it doesn't matter where that kick hits. That kick can hit either on the kidney side, that's a scoring, and also on the stomach side, that's also a scoring technique. Now he's gonna do step round kick into round kick. Ha! Oh! And then he brings it back, brings it back. Now the other alternative in this is the other athlete could go. So he can do step round kick, round kick into round kick, round kick. He can do round kick, round kick into step round kick, round kick. But for now we're gonna break it down one more time. He's going round kick, round kick into step round kick, round kick. Go! Ha! Ha! Good. Now the other athlete right from there if he chose to could go, but again we're just demonstrating the technique. So we have a second version of this drill now. We go step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick. Remember this is the continuous drill. It looks like this. Good. The athletes run back. Again they could do this up and down the floor. One guy could go, he runs back, his partner goes, but we're going to do it one more time. Good. Very nice. Okay. Let's bring it back. Now we're going to break it down a little further now. We've got our third drill. This is going to be step round kick, round kick. It looks like this. Ha! Oh! And right from there, he steps back, double kick. Ah! Very nice, good. So again, you can see his partner is giving him opportunities. He's doing matching steps. So he's matching the motion. When he moves forward, he moves backwards. When he moves forwards, he moves backwards. It looks like this. Go! Ha! Ha! Ho! Very nice, good. Again, now what we're building in the athletes, they're learning how to react to the technique. So if he steps in deep, he has to step back deep. If he steps in short, he has to step back short. If he doesn't move at all, he has to kick and jump up. If he moves back, he has to kick and go in. Let's move to the last and final technique in this series. Step round kick, round kick. Oh! Ha! Ha! Slide back, up ball double. Oh! Very nice, very nice. One more time. So it's step round kick, round kick, Slide back, kicking with the front foot first into the up ball double. Looks like this. Good. Now you can see a little hesitation in the athlete, which is fine. What he's trying to do is see what the other person's doing, so he's going to hesitate. That's okay, because remember, we're still working on the belief portion, which will get us to the confidence, which will finally get us to the point. One last time with the proper speed, proper technique, and speed. Looks like this. Very nice, good. Now we're moving on to our next drill. Okay, now we're still in those chest protectors and we're working on sparring skills. Now we're not only working his attack, we're going to work his counter. So he's going to react to the attacks and he's going to counter the second technique. So we're going to try to get him to counter with his rear leg round kick. It doesn't matter whether it goes to the flank side or the stomach side for now. We'll talk about that later, but let's just focus on the motion. He can absorb both kicks, or he can make the last one miss and counter. Looks like this. Very nice, good, bring it back. Now we're working on the second portion of this combination. He's gonna go step round kick, which is a little bit deeper, and then round kick. He's gonna try to counter the second technique. Ready, go! Very nice, good. Okay, so now this is not an easy drill, so you need to go slow with it, but once you get it to a level where you feel that you've taught it well enough, they understand the stepping motion, then you can have them pick it up. Remember where we want to end. We want them doing these techniques one right after the other. So it's four kicks, two combinations, but one count. So it'd be round kick, round kick, counter, step round kick, round kick, counter. Ready, go! Ha, ha, ha! Excellent, just like that, just like that. Okay, we're gonna bring him back. This is gonna be step, round kick, round kick. He's going to step back, double kick. Now let's talk about what happens, because this is the most important part. He goes step, round kick, round kick. He attempts to counter. 
He steps out of the way and then double kicks. This is an excellent drill because both athletes are working skills. He's working his attack phase, he's working his counter, he's working his re-counter. So it looks like this. Step round kick, round kick. And just like that. Now again, you can see this is not easy timing. Walk the athletes through it as you're teaching it. Make sure that they're attacking in a good line, landing on the floor well, recovering well, and regardless of whether he touches or he touches, make them go through the drill. So it's four techniques, he has two counters. Four techniques, two counters. Looks like this. Good. Doesn't matter how it ends, just matters that they finish the drill. Now one more time. Ready? Good, good. Now one more time, we're going to go on to the next and final technique. He's going to do step, round kick, round kick. This time he's going to counter, but he's going to slide back. Up ball double. Good. Again, for now, it's not going to matter what side he ends on. I don't care whether he hits on the stomach first or the kidney side first. For now, we're just working on the timing. So again, step, round kick, round kick. Slide out of the way, double. Just like that. Now, once they're comfortable with it, we're going to pick up the speed and the pace. So he's going to do four techniques again. He's got one counter in the in-between. It looks like this. Excellent, just like that. Now, this drill can be practiced a number of different ways in your class, as with any other drill. We can practice it for speed, accuracy, timing, endurance, perseverance, or distance control. In this situation today, I'm practicing it just for technique. If I were doing this as a drill, I'd have them go up and down the floor, get to the end of the floor, the other person goes back till they finish the drill. So again, let's recap. This one is multiple motion, going forwards and backwards. It's also multiple techniques. We've introduced counters, and we've introduced recounters. So this is kind of a full service class. Make sure you allocate your time properly. Leave enough time to get through all the drills. If you must take out a drill, take out the drill at each step. So take it out in the warm up, take it out during the kicking phase, take it out during the target phase, and finally take it out during the chest protector phase. Class number 34. We're going to go back to some basic techniques and basic skips and steps, but we're reinforcing a concept. Again, the ability to move backwards and forwards with ease. So, the first thing I'm going to do again in my warm-up portion are the steps. They're going to step in and step out. One. Very nice. Now, skip in, skip out. Hey! Good. Again, this is how we're warming up. So I get them bouncing now. I'm going to give them one count. I want them to step in, step out. One. Second count, I want them to skip in, skip out. Two. One. Two. Then I let them bounce around like they're fighting, they're moving, they're thinking. I have them in their minds imagining. They're doing this against someone. When they step in, they're avoiding being hit. One. Two. Very nice. Good. Now it's time. After we've done all this, we're going to break it up and then put it into combinations with kicks. Okay, I want to add the next level of distance now. We have the next level of distance. So I'm going to let him use those skips and steps to learn a way to move backwards and forwards. So first, I'm going to focus on the skip. I want him to tease his opponent with his motion. So there's a couple of different ways to teach this, but let's slow it down, break it down. So first, he's going to go in, causes his opponent to come. Then he's going to move backwards and do pot chugging. So he skips in, skips back, round kick. Very nice, good. Now the reverse of this is to skip backwards, then skip in and round kick. That looks like this. Very nice, good. Now again, he's controlling his distance in different ways, using it to tease his opponent to make point opportunities. Now once I've taught it, I'm gonna let him do it in real time. So again, now I want him to put those two things together. It's gonna be in, out, back, in, out, back, and the second one's gonna be out, in, and in. So it looks like this. One is gonna be in, out, and back in one count. Good. Again, he's thinking about it. He's teasing his opponent, trying to get his opponent to move. His opponent moves. He skips out of the way and does pot a chuggy or counter round us kick. Second one is going to be drawing his opponent back first, 
causing him to hesitate, and then re-entering with the skipping and a roundhouse kick. So the important part of this is going to be the skipping and roundhouse kick. And it should be First part is teasing and then back in. That looks like this. Oh! Oh! Good, very nice. Now if he wanted to, he could make that a little bit quicker. So he's gonna go in. Hey! Oh! Very nice, good. Now bounce around. Now at this point, I let them bounce around. They move around like they're fighting. They can change directions. I want them to work on both things. So when I say one, He's going to go in, out, roundhouse kick. Ayo! Oh! Two is going to be out, in, roundhouse kick. Ayo! Oh! Ah! That's the way you teach this one during the warm up part of your drill. Second series of drills now. Second series of drills. Taking that same thing but adding a step. So he's going to step, skip, round kick. Oh! Have him turn. Now he's going to reverse that. He's going to skip, step, round kick. Oh! A little bit different of a rhythm. So he's going to step and skip roundhouse kick. Ayo! Oh! Nice traveling, nice distance. Now this one, he anticipates, he goes with the skip. He thinks the guy's gonna run, so he goes step round kick. Ayo! Oh! Good. Now I have him move, bounce. Now on his own, I'm gonna let him practice this back and forth. This is the way I want you to teach this. So let him in his own mind imagine himself fighting. Then during this part, he's gonna practice these two techniques back and forth changing distance and direction. Ayo! Oh! Ah! One more time. Ayo! Ah! Ah! Very nice, good. Now we're ready to move on to the next series of drills. Okay, these drills are deceptively hard. They look easy, but to do them well, it's difficult. So again, we're gonna start with step, skip, Instead of round kick, fast kick, fast kick. Oh! Very nice. We're going to turn, reverse it, skip, step, fast kick. Ah! Just like that. One more time. Here we go. We have the step. He skips. Opportunities on the front side, so he goes fast kick. Oh! Now, he anticipates. He skips, steps, fast kick. Ah! Not bad. That's the way it should be done in that rhythm. Now, again, we're going to let him bounce. I'm going to call it. He's going to go. Step, skip, fast kick. Ayo! Ah! Very nice. Now he's going to reverse it. Ayo! Ah! Very nice. Again, now it seems easy, but it's not that easy. The steps are kind of complicated. So let them go at their own pace until you feel comfortable they understand how to do it. Then you can count it rigidly. Okay, one last variation. Again, we're trying to get them to think multidimensional. So we're going to change the direction. Same basic steps, we're going to make them going backwards. The thing I like about this, though, is they go backwards, backwards, and they're forced to re-enter. This is an excellent skill to start developing. So first, they're going to step back, skip back, fast kick. That's the first technique. So he had step, skip. Now he's going to skip, step, fast kick. OK, one more time. Here we go. We turn it around. Step, skip, fast kick. Ayo! Turn, skip, step, fast kick. Ah! Good. Listen, excellent technique, excellent execution, and I like the way that he bounced back and forth. Now take your time on this one because the momentum of going backwards, it's very difficult to change that to go forward with the fast kick. So make sure that when they go back, they just don't do up ball, lifting that front leg and kicking. We want them doing the full extension and re-entering with the fast kick. Okay, we're in the conditioning part of the class again. Now again, we have our chest protectors on. We've been using them all class. Now we've done those drills in the air. Remember, you can also do them on the target. But today I wanna to focus on the body drills. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit, just working on the different skips and the different steps. So I'm gonna have him skip forward and double kick. Ah! And he just receives the kick. Now he's gonna skip forward and he's going to up ball double. He goes back and up ball double. Good. So that's all we're working on. Again, he's working on his attack, he's working on his defense. So he attacks, tongue tongue, he goes back, tongue tongue. Looks like this. Ready, go! Good. Now as he gets his rhythm, I have them bounce, they're bouncing. Now he's doing it like he's fighting. So he's gonna go in, in, out, out. Good, and they keep moving, they keep moving. Ha! 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 Ah! 
Ah. Good. So maybe I'll do it five or ten times, and then I'll have them switch. Or I can have them do it back and forth. Now, this class, again, we didn't learn a lot of different techniques. That's because of the level of technique. We didn't learn a lot of different combinations. That's because of the level of combinations. So I want you to slow this one down a little bit, go through it. This is going to be the meat of the class. This is where we really want them working. So again, we slow them down. We start like this. I go slow. I have them skip in, do double. Ah! Now, in his mind, I have him concentrating on counters. Then I have him attack. He skips back and up ball double. Ha! Ah! Very nice. Good. Now we've gone through this class a little bit harder. A lot of technique, but not a lot of different things going on. But we totally changed the focus of what we were doing. Okay, next series of body drills. Again, they're going to get tired during this, so take your time, break it down for them, and then we'll move on to the next drill after this. But for now, let's break it down. So we have step, skip, double kick. Let's try one more time. So we have step, skip, into double kick. Okay, so now as they get it, we're going to go slow, then we're going to build it up. So now I want them to go step, skip, double. Ready. Excellent execution. You can see how smooth it was. What makes it effective is everything that's happening down here. He's creating opportunity by the way he's stepping. Now we're going to flip the switch. Now he's going to go skip, step, and we're going to change the kick to up ball double. Wow! Little of a different look. Now it all depends on what he sees and what he wants. So if he sees an opportunity, he's going to flip the kick. He's also going to flip the step. Let's break it up again. We're going to start with the skip. We're going to the step, and then he's going to do up ball double. Slow. Here it goes. Hi oh! Ow! That's all he needs. That's all he needs. Now he's going to bounce. Another option for the practice. I want him to do the same technique now with speed and power. So he goes skip, step, up ball double. Hi oh! Ow! Very nice. Good. Moving, moving, moving. One more time. Looks like this. Ready? Go! Oh! Good. Again, he can search on the floor for where he wants to be, but ultimately he's got to pick his step and pick his kick. So let's review again. You can put these two together. He's got step, skip, double. Looks like this. Oh! He's going to follow that with skip, step into double kick, and that looks like this. Okay, now I want him to put both techniques together. He's going to put both techniques together. So we're going to go step, skip, double kick, skip, step. Flipping the switch, up ball double. Looks like this. Oh. Keeps moving. Ah. Excellent, excellent. Just like that. Now you can see, it's a difficult technique to practice, difficult technique to teach. So we want to really break it down. Do the first one first. Focus on the step and the skip. Right? The step and the skip, then focus on the skip and the step. Then all they have to do is change the kick they're doing. If they can't do double kick, start with just a single technique. Remember, that's why we did it that way. They go step, skip, round kick, right? Skip, step, fast kick. Then they can change that into step, skip, double kick, skip, step, up ball double kick. Okay, final drill in this set, final drill in this class. Now, I'm all about progressions, right? I want people doing things one right after the other. I like to take the air to the target, the shield, right? And then I want to take it to the body, the drill, and then finally the sparring. But if you do that every class, you're going to bore them to tears. So I like to flip it, make them think a little bit. Now I'm going to take the same idea, but instead of using that step and that skip, I'm going to leave the kick the same. So first he's going to go skip, step backwards, up ball double. Oh! This is going to be followed by step, skip backwards, up ball double. Oh! All this is going to do is build versatility in the technique. It's going to cause them to think. It's going to build versatility in the technique. So I want them thinking. Again, they're focusing on the step. By this point, they're five months into the program, so they should be focused on the technique. They're focusing on the step, and then they're planning for the inevitability of what's going to happen. This time we let him keep the step differently, keep the kick the same. Step differently, kick the same. Let's bring it back. So we're starting with skip back, step back, up ball double. Go! Oh! Now he flips it. Here we go. Go! Oh! 
Very nice. Good. Back it up. Now again, this is somebody who's retreating. You're fighting. He's chasing you. You're chasing you. You skip. You step out of the way, and then you're attacking with your counterattack. So he's going to do the two different ones together now. He's got skip, step back, up ball double, step, skip, up ball double. Ready? Go! Ha! Ha! Excellent choice of technique. Nice movement. Now again, remember, this is not an easy class. A lot of technique going on. Take your time. Break it down into increments. Four or five minutes on this. Give them four or five, ten minutes to practice it. Four or five minutes on the instruction. Four to five, ten minutes of practicing. Now remember, 45 minute class to an hour, not a lot of time. You gotta get that warm up. The cool down also have to be part of it. So leave enough time for this part of the class. It's the most important part of the class. Class 35, class 35, another new week if you're doing two a week. We're going to work on the steps first. I want to add some different stuff together. Again, we don't want to bore them to death, so we're going to add some different step. With this, you can do any kick can be replaced by a step. So we're going to do the steps first, then we'll replace them with kicks. So the first is going to be cut step. Cut step. Then we're going to do not a bond step, which is just simply spinning and stepping on the floor. Hey! That's the first technique. Now we have the second combination. Let's bring them back. Second one is rear leg cut or push. Good. They're going to lift that leg up again, put it down, lift it up again, and switch. OK. So that was rear leg push kick into up ball, up ball double. Three different techniques. Let's try it one more time. So they're going to step forward for the push kick. Step. They're going to lift it like up ball. Put it back down, and then they're going to up ball, double step. Aye! Okay, let's go back to the first one. So we have them bouncing. First one's kind of easy. It's cut step into not a bond step. Looks like this. Aye! Let them practice that up and down the floor till they get it. Again, this is not an easy stepping technique, but it's also not an easy kicking combination. Bring it back one more time. Cut step into not a bond step. Aye! Aye! Very nice. Back it up. Now, rear leg step in. They're going to lift it up, put it down, lift it up, switch. Good. That was push kick into up ball, into up ball, double step. Now we're ready to move on to the next set of stepping drills. Okay, now we've got the second set of step drills, which are going to lead us to the kicks later. So this one is not a bond step in. Step back, not a bond step in. Okay, so basically it's just a not a bond on both sides. You could do this with a switch or a step, but we're working on a dimensions now of going in and out. Let's back it up. So we're gonna go not a bond in, step out, not a bond in. Good. That's drill number two. Now again, once they get comfortable with it, we can do it with a little bit more speed, but walk them through it in the beginning. We're setting up the kicking combinations we'll be practicing later. One more time, not a bond in, step back, not a bond in. Ready? Good. Now it's okay if they take their time. Again, they're getting their balance, they're getting an understanding of the technique. Now we're ready for the last lead into kicking. Okay, final drill. Again, this is for your advanced students now. With your beginners, I'm going to show you how to teach it to your beginners, then I'll show you how to teach it to your advanced students. This is a basic step drill, again, with complex techniques. So I'm going to have them step in first, step, spin in, step in. So that was round kick into not a bond step. You replaced a kick with a step. Now I have them step back, not a bond in again, spin in like they were going to back kick. Very nice. Bring it back. So let's think about what we're doing. Really all we're doing is round kick into not a bond, step back, not a bond into back kick. But with the steps, it seems a little more difficult. So we're going to slow it down one more time. Step in, not a bond in, step out. Not a bond in into back. That's all it is. Okay, bring it back. Now I'm going to let it count through. It's going to be the round kick step into not a bond. These are all steps still. Count it once. Ready, go. Stay there. Ready. Now when I say go, they're going to step back. Not a bond step into back step. 
Very nice, good, bring it back. Now again, these are complex techniques, but if they practice it just like this, nice and slow, first 10 minutes of class, it's gonna make the next drill even easier. Time for the targets, because there's a lot of technique going on. It's not easy, right? You can see from the steps. So I'm gonna go slow first. I'm gonna instruct it just like this. So I'd have him do the cut kick first at the target. One. Ah. Then he can do the Nadabon on the floor or in the air, whatever he's comfortable with. Two. Ah. That's the first combination. Now we're adding the second one. He's gonna do the same kick off the rear leg. One. Ah. He's gonna lift it up, do up ball, two followed by up ball double three. A lot of kicking, a lot of thinking, a lot of agility going on. Not easy, but we're gonna take our time, walk it one more time. So now, once I feel comfortable that he understands what's going on, I'm gonna let him do it at the proper speed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is break it down into two combinations. So it's gonna be cut kick into not a bond. Good, now obviously he's an advanced student. I had a beginner, I take a little bit more time with this. Now I want him to do that same technique off the rear leg, it's called push kick. He's gonna come right back up with it, do an up ball, and then go right back up to an up ball double kick, and it looks like this. Hey! Very nice, good. Now this one is a little bit more complex, but a lot of agility. I want him to get used to bringing that leg up and down and up and down again if the opportunity presents itself. We don't do it just for no reason. We do it only if the opportunity presents itself. Let's back it up again. Now once he's comfortable with the two different combinations, I want him doing the two different combinations again as we always do it. Four to two to one. I'm gonna count once, he's gonna do cut kick. He's gonna go into Nadabon followed right away with rear leg push, up ball, up ball, double. It looks like this. Very nice, one more time. Now again, we wanna get him flowing. He's gonna flow with this. As Soon as I feel good about it, I'm gonna get him bouncing, he's bouncing. I'll give him the four, two, one, go! Very nice, very nice, okay? So again, four different things going on, breaking it down into two, and then finally doing it in one count. That's the first target drill. Next drill, okay. A little bit easier, but actually a little bit more difficult because it's a lot of kinetic energy going forward, torquing the body. He's got to release and go back. He's going to go Nadabon, step back. Nadabon. Okay, looks easy, right? But there's a lot of energy going around, a lot of torque. So we want to make sure their body's going straight line, hitting the target in a straight line, touching the floor, coming back, and then spinning in a straight line. So again, Beginners are gonna to tend to be big and wide. We want them nice and tight. One more time, look like this. Ready, hey Okay, there's not a lot to say about this technique, but it does lead into our next combination. Make sure they're focused on the tightness of their motion. We want their energy going forward, not circular. This is a turning kick, not a spinning kick. It's not a whipping around big spinning motion, it's a turning in the air kick. Now we're ready to take this to the next combination. Okay, next drill came from the last drill, building on what came before. We're gonna do a round kick into an Audubon. It's kinda easy, so it's round kick into an Audubon. Hey! Ah, ah. By now, your athlete should have this technique in their back pocket. I mean, we've done everything to prepare them. Month five, no problem. Now, I break it down like this. I say, step back. We've worked on this too, Audubon. Ah. Spin into that back kick. Ah. Okay, this is actually kind of easier because the energy is going that way. Let's bring it back. So again, two combinations. We have a round kick into not a bond. That's the first combination. Now the second combination is actually step back, not a bond, back kick. Very nice, bring it back. Okay, once I'm comfortable, again, that they're spinning is nice, they're turning into that target nice, all their energy is going forward and not around, I'm gonna work it just like this. I'm gonna break it down like this. Now listen. It's round kick into Nadabon, step back only. Round kick into Nadabon, step back only. Now he's set up, I go Nadabon into back kick. Because the transition is important. Let's bring it back. I'm concentrating on the transition. When you're teaching technique, you gotta break it down to focus on the point you wanna bring attention to. So I want him to focus on the Nadabon, step back. Then I want him focusing on the Nadabon, step back, 
into Nadaban, right? We've done that at two different points. Now I add just the taste of the back kick, which can be turned into a back hook kick. So now he's going to go round kick into Nadaban, step back, Nadaban into back kick. It's going to look like this. Three, two, one, go! Again, not easy technique, okay? Bring it back, bring it back. Not easy technique. A lot of changing going on here. Add the spinning factor, takes time. If they're really having a lot of trouble, back off, break it down. Round kick into Nadaban, stop. Round kick, Nadaban, step back, stop. Round kick, Nadaban, step back, Nadaban, stop. Now break it down, Nadaban, back kick, stop. Once they've got all that, we can go back to round kick, not a bond, step back, not a bond, back kick. Now we're ready for the partner drill. A lot of hard technique, so we want to do it in the air, but we also want this guy to learn how to react to it. So first he's going to do the first technique. I'm going to let him do the second technique. So he does the first one, he follows it. Looks like this. He's going to do cut kick into Nadaban. All I want him to do is avoid getting hit. Ready, go! Now it's his turn. He's going to avoid getting hit. Ready, go! Now as I'm teaching this, I'm telling him, I want you to be thinking. Thinking about how you would counter it. Again, they're just moving in the air. He's practicing matching steps backwards. Ready, go! Go! Good. Now, He's going to do rear leg push, up ball into up ball double. Looks like this. Hey! Ha! Ha! Bow! Okay, now it's his turn. He's going to do rear leg push, up ball, up ball double. Looks like this. Hey! Ha! 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 Excellent. Good. Now, once they get comfortable with this, I'll have them do the two techniques again together. He can do cut kick into Nadaban, rear leg push, up ball into up ball double. He's just going to get out of the way. Looks like this. Go! Ha! Ha, 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 oh. Very nice, good. Now it's his turn. He's going to do cut, kick, not a bond. Rear leg push, up ball into up ball double. Looks like this. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Excellent, good. Now, they have this set of techniques. I'm just working on their motion. He's just trying to avoid. Now, there are a couple of different things he can do when he's working on his motion. He's going to do cut, kick into not a bond, but watch what he does. Ready, go! Oh. He moved to the side to avoid it, so they don't have to move straight back. In fact, we don't want him to move straight back. Move out of the direction of the spin, okay? Now we're ready for the next series of techniques. He's going to do Nadaban into step back Nadaban. So let's bring him back. He's going to go Nadaban. Hey! Ah. He's going to enter. He goes Nadaban. Ah. Good. Now again, we're going to want him to step out of the way. We don't want him to get hit with the technique. So it's going to be Nadaban. Step out of the way, Nadaban. He's going to step in. Ready? One more time. Hi -oh. ha, 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 oh. Excellent. Good. Now it's his turn to avoid the technique. He's going to re enter and avoid the technique again. He's working on his Nadaban. Step back, Nadaban. He's working on his matching steps. Looks like this. Hi -oh. ha, ha. Good. Now, again, we can have them practicing this just in the air. We don't want any contact, but have them put on the safety equipment so that they don't get hurt. Now we're ready for our next series of drills. Okay, final and hardest, right? We got the round kick into Nadabon. Let's break it down like this again. He goes round kick, Nadabon. He's going to step back, Nadabon, into back kick. Not an easy technique, but again, working on different skills here. He's working on his agility, his technique. He's working on recognizing the techniques that are coming so you can build the confidence to avoid being hit. So we're going to have, again, round kick into Nadaban, step back, Nadaban into back kick in the air. Hey! Ha! Ha! Ho! Ha! Ha! Okay, good. Now, again, we want this athlete actively involved, so he's not just kind of waiting for his turn. So when I'm talking and instructing him, I'm going to say, listen, pay attention. I want you to match his motion, give him something, but then get out of the way. So what I mean by that is after he finishes that Nadaban, I'm going to come in. He's going to step back. He's going to do his Nadaban. I'm going to release. He does his back kick. I'm going to release to the side to find my counter. Okay? One more time. Looks like this. Ready. Ha! Ha! Ho! Ha! Ah! Good, not bad, not bad. Again, 
Everybody's working on a technique. He's working on his defensive posture. He's working on his attacking technique. Now we're ready to do it with the addition of counters. Now I want to add the counter. So we've done the motion kicking in the air. He should be familiar with it now. Again, for safety, safety equipment, headgear, everything else in the world. And we're going to do delayed counters. So first we're going to work on the first attack, which was cut kick into Nadaban. He picks his counter. He picks his counter, which in this case was counter round kick. One more time. So we have cut kick into Nadaban. Looks like this. I don't! Good, not bad, not bad. Bring it back. Now we're going into that second technique. It's going to be push kick, up ball, up ball double. He adds the counter. Hi -oh! Good, okay. And in reality, the way this one would work is he would be a little bit closer, right? He actually would absorb those kicks if we had equipment on. So let's describe what's happening here. He does push kick, he rides out of the way. Hey! -oh! He thinks he's coming in, so he does up ball. He does up ball double, he gets out of the way, and counters, okay? So that's the way it would actually happen during sparring. One more time. So we're going to do push kick, up ball, into up ball double. He's going to counter the final technique. I don't. Good. Now the counter was a little bit late, but that's okay for beginners. So we want them to do the counter late because we're building a belief that it will actually work. Then we want to translate that into confidence that it will work, which will finally manifest itself in points. So one more time. We're going to do the push kick, up ball, up ball double. He picks his counter. I don't. Excellent, good. Now we're ready for the next series of these with the counters. He's going to counter in between again. So he's going to have Nadaban step back, Nadaban. He's going to kick on the final technique. So we have Nadaban. He steps in. Nadaban, counter. That's all it is. Okay, watch again. He's matching his motion. A little bit different of an idea. He does Nadaban, steps in, Nadaban, counter. Good. And it doesn't matter what side he lands on, because remember, there's a point on this side and there's a point on the front side. One more time. In real time, it looks like this. Hi -oh! Excellent. Good. Now we're going to move on to the most complex one of them all. We're going to go into that round kick into Nadaban. Going to let him counter the first one. And then we'll go into step back Nadaban into back kick. Looks like this. Ready. So he's going to round kick into Nadaban. He's going to counter with round kick. Hi -oh! Good. Now this is going to be followed by step back, Nadaban into back kick. He counters the back kick. I don't. Good. Again, for back kick, we like to land on the front side of the stomach because of the way that the kick travels. So he's going to fix either his front leg, depending where it is, or his rear leg, depending upon where his body ends. One more time. This is going to be step back into Nadaban into back kick. So he steps back, Nadaban. Back kick, counter. Very nice. Good. Let's bring it back to real time now. Now we've got the final, and this is hard now, so walk it through with your students. Round kick into Nadaban. He counters. Step back, Nadaban to back kick. He counters. Looks like this. Hi -oh! And walk it that slow. These are not easy techniques. Only your most advanced students should be doing them in real time and really quickly. This is the end of this class. Okay, welcome to class 36. Again, doing two a week. This is your second class in a week. Going to break it up again. Going to go back to some basic techniques. Change the way we do them, but we're going to teach them how to counter them, how to use them for the attack. As we always do, we've done our warm-up. Now we're ready to do the air kicking, prepping them for the techniques we're going to practice in the class. First combination, round kick into double kick. I don't. Ha! Oh. Good, bring it back. Okay, you know this one, so I don't want to waste a lot of time on it. Just focus on it, make sure they're jumping properly. Both techniques are traveling straight, and they're not going wide. Second one, we're going to follow it. It's going to be round kick, double kick, followed by a face kick. So it's round kick into double, come down, face kick, round kick. Ha! 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 Oh. Very nice, bring it back. Finally, the third series, the third technique. Again, these are all round kicks. Round kick into double kick, switch round kick to the face or body. Ha! 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 Oh! Good. 
again, it's just a different look. We're working on a switch step rather than stepping forward or stepping back. Remember, as soon as you're done with that warm up, go right into round kick into double kick, follow with the second technique, which adds a face kick, follow with the third one, which adds a switch into a round kick to the face of the body. Again, in the air, targets, and then we get to people. I want to change the format of this class a little bit now, so I'm not going to do each one of these separately because these are easy techniques and by now they should have mastered these steps. So now I'm testing your ability to adapt in real time. So I'm going right one through the other. So this is going to be round kick into double kick, round kick into double kick into face kick, followed by round kick into double kick, switch and round kick. Looks like this. First one is round kick, double kick. Okay, so right from there, he's going to go round kick into double kick, into face kick. Looks like this. Good. Finally, we bring him back. His third option, round kick, double kick, switch his feet, kicking with the opposite leg. Very nice. Bring it back. Now, here we go. Again, remember, we're not going to do these all down the floor, just one. We're going to do all three in repetition. So he's going to do the first technique, the second, and then follow it with the third. Round kick into double, round kick into double, into face, round kick into double, switch your feet, followed by a final round kick. He's going to give him the targets, he's going to react, it looks like this. Good. Now, if I were building these as if he were fighting, what I'd have him do now is move around the center of the floor. He's going to bounce around and move as if he's fighting. He's going to give him three different opportunities, but he's going to give him those three techniques in order. It looks like this. Good, nice. Again, building his ability to do these in real time, also mimicking the fighting environment, because that's what we want him to be doing, but he's practicing with full speed and full power. Now it's time to move on to the partner drills. Okay, now I'm going to change it up again on our partner drill. First, we're going to work on the situation, going to let him attack. Then I'm going to teach him the counter. Then I'm going to teach him the re-counter. So watch the way this works. I let him attack in the air. He gets used to attacking in the air. He watches in his mind, preparing for the counter. So he's going to do round kick into double kick. All I want him to do is move. Hey! Ha! Ha! That's all I want him to do. Back it up. Now once he's comfortable with that, I'm going to teach him the counter. So we're going to walk it first. He goes round kick. Ha! He's going to do double kick. He's going to slide back and counter with back kick. Hey! Oh! Excellent. Bring it back, bring it back. And let them go that slow in the beginning, especially if they don't have chest protectors on. We don't want them to get hurt. We want to make sure he's got the accuracy for back kick. So he's going to do round kick into double kick. He's got to catch him between the two kicks in the middle with a back kick. Oh! Excellent. Good. Now, the re-counter, which is why we're doing this drill. We've taught him the success of the attack. We've taught him the possible liability, right? He learned a counter. Now he's got to learn how to take that liability and turn it into a scoring opportunity. He's going to round kick. He's going to counter his double kick with back kick. After he finishes his back kick, he's going to finish with that final face kick from the combination we practiced before, which was round kick, double kick, into face kick. So he absorbs the back kick, which can actually happen during competition, but he's not going to stop. He's going to follow with a face kick. So it looks like this. Let's walk it slow. Round kick. Ha! Double kick, get pounded. That's all it is, following with that face kick. Double kick into face kick. One more time, a little bit quicker now. Ready? Hey! Ah. Excellent, excellent. This technique I've seen done time and time again, because usually the person who throws the back kick expects you to be dead, right? Reality is you survive. Now, if you can re-enter with that scoring technique to the face, two things will happen. You'll score a point, and if you do it properly, your opponent will be unable to continue. Okay? But again, round kick, double kick. He gets countered with the back kick. He follows with face kick. Excellent. Good. Make sure they practice with control. 
because these are dangerous techniques, but we want them to focus on the timing, catching them in the middle with the back kick, re-entering with the round kick. Guys, here's the best part. We're not just gonna teach them one option or two options, we're gonna teach them the final option. So he had round kick double, nothing happened. Round kick double, he got back kicked, right? Round kick double, he back kicked, he got face kicked. Final thing to do is counter that last technique. He's gonna go round kick double, switch his feet, giving him another opportunity for round kick. He throws it, he counters it. It's gonna look like this, we're gonna walk it. He goes round kick into double. He switches, sees an opportunity and Excellent, good. He's gonna counter the last technique. Remember, counter is available during any point of a combination. Depends on your timing. He's choosing to counter the final technique. One more time. Hey! Okay, good. Not bad, not bad. Now again, he's waiting for his opportunity. He's learning his timing. No contact, but if you want contact, put those chest protectors on. Now, last time, real speed. Here we go. Excellent, excellent. Listen, that class was a little bit of a departure. We took them out of the technique land, meaning we took them out of complex techniques. We also took them out of the step land, took them out of complex stepping. We took out all the extra stuff. It's important sometimes to refocus. At the end of the day, points are scored with round kicks, 90% of the time. Round kick to the body, simply the most efficient technique it's the most efficient way to score a point, and it uses the least amount of energy. So that's a high scoring technique, low risk, little energy. Back kicks, back hook kicks, big risk. A lot of energy, but if you hit, nice, nice points. But the frequency by which you can throw them is very low. Can't throw them a lot because you get tired. So refocus your students during this session on round kicks, opportunity with round kicks, understanding the liabilities, but also understanding the viabilities. Okay, new class, class 37, new techniques. Again, these are techniques we've done in our other classes, but again, we're reinforcing them here today for the so they can move on to the next level of classes. First technique, side kick, back kick. Oh! Good. Lift up, cut kick, back kick. Oh! Good. Bring it back. Here we go again. So we have rear leg into rear leg, and then we have front leg into rear leg. So we're going to go side kick, back kick, cut kick, back kick. Oh! Good. Bring it back. Bring it back. Very nice. Now again, we can slow this down. We do one technique at a time. We can also break it down into two techniques. But really what we're focusing on now, they should know the techniques after the warm-up. Going to bring them right into side kick, back kick, followed by cut kick, back kick. So the total technique should be side kick, back kick, cut kick, back kick. Then we reverse it. Cut kick, back kick. Oh! Rear leg side kick, back kick. Oh! Good. Bring it back. Again, we're going to put those two techniques together. Finally, this is followed with back kick into back kick. So they do a back kick, oh. and they follow with a back kick. Oh. Good. Now these back kicks can be done jumping or on the floor. Three sets of techniques for the kicking in the air portion of the class. We have side kick, back kick into cut kick, back kick. That's one. Cut kick, back kick into side kick, back kick. That's two, followed by back kick into back kick. And they can be on the floor or in the air. With that, we move on to the Wave Master Drills. Next series of drills. Warmed up, we've done the kicking in the air. This drill I like to do on the Wave Master. I like to do it on the shield sometimes, but you really need somebody who's adept at holding the shield for it to work well. With this bag, though, it's able to just stay there. They can practice the techniques. It gives them a nice sort of rebound so they can do the different kicking combinations. So let's warm it up again. He's going to go side kick, back kick. He's going to follow with side kick, back kick. Oh! Oh! Ah! Cut kick, back kick. Cut kick, back kick. Oh! Oh! Ah! Followed by side kick, back kick into cut kick, back kick. Side kick, back kick into cut kick, back kick. Go! Oh! Ah! 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 
Okay, once they're good at it now, again, once they're proficient at it, we're gonna move on to the next way I'd like them to do it. So he's gonna do four techniques, four techniques, four techniques, four techniques. Now, depending on the condition of your students, what you're working on, they can keep going till they kinda get tired. But for now, just one, two, three, four. Three, two, one, go! Ha! 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 Excellent, good. So just four repetitions and we're done. Now the second set of techniques, he starts with cut kick, back kick. Ayo! Ha! Following with side kick, back kick. Ayo! Ha! Ha! Excellent, good. Okay, now it's time to put them together. Just like we did on our first drill. We did them individually, we put them together into fours, then we did them in rows of fours. Now he's just gonna simply put them together. Cut kick, back kick, side kick, back kick. He does it once, he does it once. Four kicks, go! Good, now the bag's gonna move, but this happens in the real world. So let them take their time, let them get used to the dynamic motion of the bag, they'll adjust their muscles will gain memory and they'll learn how to bounce, kick, recover, and come back whether they hit or miss. Another drill for the bag now. We're gonna do Nadabon, hit the bag, and then hit the bag again with back kick. So first he does Nadabon, Boom. back kick. Ah. Nadabon, ah. back kick. Ah. Good, so this is a good drill. They learn how to balance, they also learn how to hit, recover, and they learn how to recover after a Nadabon hit and throw into a back kick. So we're gonna go not on back kick, not on into back kick. Hi oh! Good, this is now gonna be followed by back kick into not on. So he's gonna back kick the bag lightly. Not on. Back kick, not on. Excellent distance control for that not on. Hard to do not on in place. Gotta teach your body how to do it. So again, back kick into not on, back kick into not on. Okay, good. Now, just for fun, to raise the skill level of the class and their interest, we're gonna let him try to put those two together. So he's gonna go Nadabon into back kick, recover, back kick into Nadabon. Lot of energy, lot of action going on, lot of spinning, gotta hit with all four techniques. Then it's his turn. Nice and easy, here we go. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. Okay, so you had an extra little step in there, but that's okay. If their leg comes back from the Nadabon all the way back, let them back kick. It's not the end of the world. That's also a skill that we can work on. So remember, you can use the mistakes that your students make in the class as some way to explain the things they can do during sparring. Sparring is about being reactive for what happens in the ring. So you don't create opportunities that exist. You create opportunities that don't exist, and you take advantage of ones that exist regardless of whether you've created them. Final bag drill, a little bit more difficult, but a lot more energy. A little bit more difficult, a lot more energy. The kids are gonna love this one. This is not a bond, step back, not a bond. It looks like this. Okay, two different ways to do it now. He did the step back, he did the step back in place. He touched the floor, step back, he went back without touching the floor in place. So again, two kicks, two kicks. Good. Now one last way to do this. As soon as he starts to spin, he starts to spin right after that. So it's bong bong, switch bong bong. So they try to match each other. Ready? Go! Excellent, excellent. Now, if you wanted to get even just a little bit more difficult, you try to have them match each other at exactly the same time. So they start at the same time, and they hit the opposite bags at the same time. Ready, go! Okay, not easy, but depending on the level of your class, you can change it. So they can go at the same time, they can alternate, they can take their time. You pick the level for your class. This drill is a lot of fun, so your class is really gonna enjoy it, but use it in the middle of the class, get them a little bit tired, takes us to our final drill. No matter what I do, I like all my drills to end with something that relates back to sparring. 
working on the timing or the technique. Timing or the technique. This one's going to work on the technique. I want him to lightly touch with both. He's going to receive the final two. So we'll let him miss with the first one. He slides out of the way, but he's going to touch with the second two combinations. So it's side kick, back kick, into cut kick, back kick. Missing the first one, receiving the second two. Oh! Oh! Ah! Just like that. Again, doesn't have to be hard. Working on the speed, not the power. Okay, now we're going to flip the switch. Now he's going to start with cut kick, back kick, followed by side kick, back kick. He misses the first, receives the second. Nice and slow. Here we go. Hey! Oh! Ah! Not bad. Again, concentrating on the technique. It's not an easy technique. Nobody likes to get hit with a side kick, back kick. So put some chest protectors on, or the other option is you can use a shield. Remember, this class was a little bit more fun, but we focused at the end. So we used the end as the thing that gave us the timing and the technique. All the stuff in the middle, they love. Hitting things, no damage, no danger. Excellent way to build that technique. But these are hard techniques. Back kick, side kicks. These are a lot of energy. Not a bunch, a lot of energy. So pace your class appropriately. Get them ready for the next session. Welcome to class 38. By now, you're fully, fully into the program, into that fifth month. Okay, again, we're reviewing some techniques now, putting them together in different ways. We're going to go round kick, side kick, back kick, draw back, and up ball. This actually functions as a counter. So if you miss that side kick, back kick, they try to counter, you draw back, and you up ball. We're going to walk it now. So we have round kick, side kick, back kick, draw back, front leg, up ball. Very nice. Let's try it again. Ready. So round kick, side kick, back kick, draw back, up ball. Okay. So if this were your beginner class, you'd teach it like this. Round kick. Step in, back kick. Pull your foot back. Round kick. That's all it is. Now, of course, as I have more advanced students, I eliminate the step. I make it a jump. I take the jump, I make it a kick, I make the kick into two kicks, which ends like this, round kick, side kick, back kick, draw back, up ball. Very nice, very nice, back it up. We're going to follow that with our second technique. I'm going to break it down like I would break it down for a beginner. Fast kick, cut kick, back kick, back whip kick, very nice, bring it back. Okay, let's walk it again for my beginners. We're going to do fast kick, come down. Skip in, back kick. Spin, back hook kick. Okay, that's the way to teach your beginners. Now you've got two ways to teach it, but you know the way we want to do it. Bring it back, go into full speed. This is for your advanced people. We're going to have the fast kick, into cut kick, back kick, into back whip kick. Three, two, one, go! Excellent, bring it back. Final technique, we're going to put these all together, changing the distance and the height and the technique. So, we have cut kick, slow, skip axe kick, changing the height, followed by side kick, back kick. That's all it is, bring it back. Okay, again, that's how you teach it to your beginners, nice and slow. Now we take it for the advanced people, one count, all the technique, in three, two, one, go! Nice and easy, bring it back. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the target portion of the class. We've done our warm up, done our air kicking, here we go. Okay, this drill, because of the type of kicks I like to do on the shield, we got a lot of motion going. The handheld targets, they don't work as well. This gives you the resistance that you're gonna need for the side kick and back kicks. So we're going to do the first kicking combination again, which is round kick into side kick, back kick, draw back and up ball. But while I'm teaching this, I want him thinking about what's happening. So I'm going to say, listen, you attack with a round kick, he skips out of the way. You follow with a side kick, back kick, he skips out of the way, he tries to re-counter, you counter with the up ball. So you can focus 
on him. Attacking with the round kick, maybe scoring with the side kick, back kick, or missing, but then ultimately scoring with that up ball technique to the body or face. Let's walk it slow with the shield so we see what we're doing. First, the partner holds like this for round kick. He moves backwards. He follows with side kick, back kick. Excellent. He comes in. Up ball. Good. So he's got to be actively involved. We want him moving backwards and then re-entering, mimicking what happens with somebody who's actually fighting. So again, he's not just holding the target asleep. You want him thinking. Two reasons. One is you want him to be an effective holder for him first. Second, you want him in his mind building a sense memory of what is occurring when he's attacking. This way, he's developing in his mind an understanding of what the technique looks like when it's coming. So when it's his turn to either defend or attack, he'll know what it is coming. One more time. Looks like this. Ready. Round kick. Ah. Side kick, back kick, ah. up ball. Ah. Okay, let's bring it to real time now. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Ah. Ah. Good, one more time. Now I'm going to try to get him, if I were correcting him and watching him, I'd say, listen, absorb that side kick, back kick, and then go right back in. Force him to bounce off that technique and go right back in. It looks like this. Ready, go. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Good, nice. He waits for his opportunity to present itself. It comes sooner, he goes sooner. Comes sooner, he goes sooner. So now, we're gonna go slow. We're gonna give him an opportunity to pull this together, right? He's gonna go. Fast kick first. Ah! Now to remind him, I might even stay here and go, cut kick, back kick. Ah! Showing him what I want. Now, I gotta wake this guy up because I don't want him to be unconscious. He's gonna back hook kick, he needs to go away. Back hook kick. That's all it is. Now, I want him practicing his technique full out, so I want him moving. I don't want him moving. I want him practicing his technique. Okay, we're going to start with that fast kick, follow with the cut kick, back kick, followed by the back hook kick, remembering he's absorbing, absorbing, avoiding. Absorbing, absorbing, avoiding. Don't mix it up or he'll be unconscious. Here we go. Hey! Ouch! Ouch! Very nice, good. And the technique in the beginning, it doesn't matter. We want him absorbing so he can give him good, good holding. He's got to act like a partner. But that back hook kick, the agility is what we're working on. The agility for the back hook kick. One last time, here we go. Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Excellent, much better, much better. Bring it back, bring it back. Okay, we're going to follow this with our final shield drill. Okay, again, we're going to take a drill from the last class, put it in this class, we're going to do it on the shield. Shield's a little more dynamic. He can pretend like he's fighting. He's the partner. He's the attacker. We've got not a bond. He can either hit the shield or miss the shield. In this case, we're going to hit the shield. He's going to come in for back kick. So not a bond. He's going to come in. He throws back kick. So first, not a bond hits. He comes in. Back kick. That's all it is. Nice timing. One more time. Here it goes in real world. Ready? Hey! Good. Now I'm going to have him tighten it up even more. I want not a bomb back kick. So he's going to boom, boom. Ready. Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Very nice. Good speed. Good speed. Now we're going to take one last drill from the other class. Not a bond. He comes in, switches his feet. He steps back and not a bonds again. So it looks like this. Let's slow it down. We have the attacking not a bond. Ah. He comes in. Retreating. Ah. That's all it is. This is a fun drill for the class. Gonna let him do it at his own speed. Ready, go! Excellent, good. Now, a lot of coordination involved. A lot of coordination. He's gotta back up after the recovery. He may recover here, he may recover here, and he's gotta change his feet, come back, set his sights on it, and come up again. This is not easy. It's not easy. One last time. Ready, go! Nice technique. So now, you have a whole series of drills to do. You can do these in the air. You can do them on the shields. You can do them on the targets. You can do them on the bags. Let's go to some partner drills. Okay, now once again, time for the partner drills. Gonna take it to a different place though. Gonna start with that cut kick, skip axe kick, followed by side kick, back kick. He's gonna absorb the last two techniques. So he misses with the first two, he either absorbs and makes a miss by a little bit. Second time he does it though, I want him to counter. So the first time, he's avoiding the technique or may get slightly touched, but the second time he's gonna take advantage of it and score with a counter. So first time, let's go slow. He's gonna go cut kick. 
Skip axe kick, followed by side kick, back kick. Excellent, good, he just avoids or takes a light touch. Second time, same exact combination. He goes cut kick, skip axe kick. Now he avoids and takes the counter, go! That's all, we're working on timing. Again, level of the student, you can do all sorts of stuff. Chest protectors, no chest protectors, up to you. Work at the level of your class, give them the skill they need, work on the technique, the timing, the endurance, or the discipline. Here we go, real time, he's gonna go cut kick, skip axe kick, side kick, back kick, he misses, cut kick, skip axe kick, side kick, back kick, he counters. Ready, go! Ha, ha, oh! Good, he backs it up, here we go for the second one. Ready, go! Ha, ha. Oh, oh. Not bad, excellent, nice counter, nice counter. Now we're ready to move on to the next technique. Okay, final set of option drills, final set of option drills. An option drill is where you give somebody the option to counter or you're teaching with situation the things that may happen. First, we're gonna work on the attacking technique, which is round kick. He does side kick, back kick in the air. He gets countered. That's what happens if you miss with side kick, back kick. Let's bring it back. Okay, the other thing that can happen, the other thing you can do, once you realize you're gonna miss, you withdraw and do the up ball. Remember, we did this during the air kicking, so we're gonna use it here now. He's gonna go round kick, side kick, back kick, withdraw, and counter with his own. So, again, he's drawing him in. He's missed with the back kick, draws him in, makes him take that counter, he recounters with the up ball. The same technique we practiced in the air at the beginning of the class. One more time, let's go through the second series, which is the round kick into side kick, back kick. He makes him miss, draw back, counter. Ready, go. Excellent, good. All right, let's bring it back. First, we're gonna let him practice it for the counterer. He's going to round kick into side kick, back kick, absorb the counter, hey! Finally, good. Now, we're going to the second one. He's going to go to the one where he draws him in and up ball counters, looks like this. Go! Excellent, good. Okay, remember, any technique can be practiced in multiple of different ways. In this situation, we're practicing it for two reasons. One, he's practicing his attack, he gets to practice his counter. The focus is on the counter. Two, he's practicing his attack, he's focusing on his counter, but he realizes we're really working on the re-counter. Later, this will transition into what we call partner drills, where both people are trying them, but neither is giving. So they're both trying to refine their skill and their timing. As you can probably see by now, we're adding different ideas. Now, rather than being so rigid in our format, I want to splice the ideas in at different points. I want to be progressive in my teaching, but I also want to be progressive in my overall approach. Don't want to bore them to tears with the repetition. So you have to kind of disguise a little bit, and from time to time, give them something else to think about. You don't want them going, oh yeah, I know what's coming next. Oh yeah, we did it in the air, we did it in the target. Oh yeah, I got it. You really want them going, oh, that's a new idea. Let me think about that for a moment. Which brings me to another point. As you're teaching the class, I want you to focus. Focus on them. Make sure that they're hearing you, even if it means them repeating it to you. Make them explain it to you. Make them come to you and explain the technique to you that you're teaching. So often they fall asleep when they walk in the room. It's our job to keep them awake. Class 39, okay, wrapping up month five now, class 39. Time to go back a little bit, backtrack, okay? We don't wanna always introduce new information. They can only absorb so much. You gotta imagine, two classes a week, every class new information, there's no way they can absorb it. So I'm gonna take them back a step now. We've done our warm up, nice and easy. I'm gonna combine two things they're familiar with. We're gonna go round kick, round kick, go. Ha, ha. Round kick into double kick, go. Ha. Okay, bring it back, bring it back, okay? Again, 
We know this one. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but just start it off like that. Let them get on those round kicks, get into that round kick into double kick. That's going to be the first series of techniques. One more time. Round kick, round kick, round kick into double kick. Go! Ha, 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 ha. Okay, second series now. A little goofy it may seem, but it's really working on that front leg technique. First combination, fast kick, fast kick. Go! Ha, ha. Followed by fast kick into up ball double. Go! Ha, ha. Good, bring it back, bring it back. Good, two combinations, four kicks. Now we're going to do them one right after the other. We've got fast kick, fast kick, fast kick, up ball double. So it's three kicks off that front leg, and then the fourth one is still off the front leg into the back leg. Ready, go! Ha, 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 ha. Bring it back. Good, good, good. Okay, so of course this would probably never happen during sparring, but we want them to think outside the box. Okay, so finally, one more time. Here it goes. Four techniques. Ready, go! Ha, 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 go! Okay, and here's a good place to segue. Let's bring them back about halfway. I want to bring them back in a different way. So get them to do up ball first. Ha, ha. Skip back, pot a chuggy. Ha, ha. Step back, pot a chuggy. Ha, Excellent, good. Okay, let's try one more time. Bring it up. Okay, up ball. Hey! Bow! Potter chuggy, hey! Ha. Step back, potter chuggy, hey! Ha. Very nice, good. Okay, now again, this is the air portion of the drill, so we're going to take them now to targets, people, and then ultimately sparring. Time to enter the Wave Master drills again. I like the Wave Master for this drill because this is a timing drill. Now there's two ways to practice timing. One is with a real life person, can't hit them all that hard. Two is with the Wave Master. You replace the distance, make it double distance, but in their mind, this is a person. So he's attacking, he's defending. In this situation, I'm going to move him a little bit closer. I want him to skip back and do pata chuggy. Skip back and do pata chuggy. He's going to attack with the roundhouse kick. He's going to time it and skip back to do pot chuggy. Ready, go! Oh, Very nice, good. Now one more time, watch. He's going to watch his shoulder. Look for his shoulder for the motion. He's going to then retreat and do pot chuggy. Go! Oh, Excellent, good. There's another way to teach this for your beginners. This is the way I start. If I had a beginner, beginner, I just have them both in fighting stance, the right distance from the bag, and then as soon as he sees him move, I want him not to move backwards, just round kick. I want him to match speed. So when he sees him move, he's going to try to match his speed. Good, one more time. Here we go. Good. Now, if he gets quicker, a little bit faster, his kick should hit almost at the same time. Better, good. Once they're comfortable with that, then I bring them into this space. Here's where he's working on his counter. Moving out of the way, answering with that round kick. Go! Good. Next, we build it to the second drill. Second drill is, he goes round kick, he goes pot chuggy he re-enters with a second round kick. So he goes round kick, pot chuggy round kick. Looks like this. Go! Very nice, good. Timing drill, bag acts as the person as if they were missing or hitting in real life. One more time, round kick, pot chuggy round kick. Go! Good. Now, once he finishes that, round kick, pot chuggy into double kick, the third version. Round kick, pot chuggy into double kick. He makes the same motion, he changes his response. Go! Excellent, one more time, one more time. Here we go, ready, go! Now, as you can see, these drills take up a lot of energy, a lot of time. A couple of ways to do them in the class as we always do them. I have two lines, equal amount of people on each side. When he kicks on this side, he kicks on this side, they go to the back of the line on the opposite side. This way he gets to practice the attack side as well as the defending side and vice versa. The other thing this does, it gives them a chance, an opportunity to watch other people execute the drill. Now, they'll build the skills if they can see other people execute the drills. The reason is, They'll believe it can be done. That will manifest itself in confidence, will manifest itself in a point in the ring. Okay, next series of drills now. Everything we do off the rear leg, we do off the front leg. He's going to attack with fast kick. The counter for fast kick is up ball, or skip back and kick with the front leg. So it looks like this. Watch both sides. Hey! Oh! Nice, he's working on his attack. He draws back, and does his up ball. One more time. Hey! Oh! Excellent, excellent. Now, as always, you want him to re-respond. So he's going to go fast kick, 
Draw back up ball. He's right there anyway. Up ball. Ready. Hey. Ha. 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 Couple of different options. We're not going to teach him today, but he could do this. Fast kick, up ball, whip leg with the front leg axe kick. Looks like this. Hey. Ha. Ha. Bow. Right. Those are some of the options. We're not going to do it today. Let's follow it, though, with the third drill. Fast kick, up ball, up ball double. Looks like this. Hey. Ha. Ha. Bow. Good. Now, here's another way to do these drills. We're going to do all three at the same time. So he goes fast kick, up ball, fast kick, up ball, up ball. He backs up, fast kick, up ball, up ball, double. So he doesn't do anything except go back, go back in, go back, go back in. A lot of endurance. He's going to do three sets, one trip. Ready, go. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Excellent, excellent. And then it would be his turn to go. This gives you another way to teach the drill in your class now. One way to do it, again, we talked about two lines. They switch the line, practicing the attack and defense. Second way is like this, individually. Third is doing all three techniques randomly or in succession. Again, back to our partner drills. Basic techniques, but timing. Maybe this one will do a little bit lighter. Don't need equipment. Just want them working on the fundamental timing. We have three different types of potty juggy timing, but we're not doing them here today. We'll just work on that one. So again, back to the drills we did in the beginning. We have round kick, potty juggy counter. Hey! Ha, ha. Then he moves around. Here we go. He's going to re-enter. He accepts the potty juggy, follows with the second round kick. Hey! Ha, ha, ha. All he's doing is answering the potty juggy. So he took one, gave one, took one. Now he's going to change that final technique like we did in the beginning to a double kick. So it's round kick, pot chuggy, double kick. Hey! Ha, ha, ha. As he gets better, he can change that timing, make it quicker. He can be kicking at the same time that this guy is kicking. He can wait just a little bit longer. But it depends on the level of the student and the timing we're working on. Now, again, we have three techniques. Round kick, pot chuggy. Round kick, pot chuggy. Round kick, round kick, pot chuggy into double kick. Changing the timing. Now we go to the fast kick version. Fast kick, up ball, hey! Ha, ha. Again, he's gonna re-enter now. He's gotten hit, so he's gonna go fast kick, up ball. He has a re-counter. That re-counter can be to the body or it can be to the face. Ready, hey! Ha, ha, ha. Very nice, let him practice it both ways, right? Remember, we also had that skip axe kick. We're not gonna do it now, that's for a later class. We're gonna follow this with fast kick, up ball, fast double. Ready, hey! Ha, ha. Very nice, good. Three different sets of techniques, one starting on the rear leg, one starting on the front leg. These can be done a number of different ways. Again, we can do them up and down the floor. He does round kick, pot -a chuggy He continues, round kick, pot -a chuggy round kick. Continues, round kick, pot -a chuggy double kick. Back and forth, then he changes it. Fast kick, first. Fast kick, up ball, up ball. Third, fast kick, up ball, up ball, double. Or you can do each individual one. Depends on the level of the class, where you are in the class. But remember, this is the end of the class. It's not for the endurance or the muscle strength. It's about timing. Still want the same speed, still want the same energy, but it's about timing. Okay, we got one more class in month five. If you're doing two a week, one more class in month five. This is the end of 39. That means by now we've gone through most of our fundamental skills. This next level, we're taking you up, taking you up to the strategic part of the sport. Not just the conditioning part, but the part that's going to make you successful in the ring. Don't underestimate the importance of the fundamentals. If you need to, go back. Go back and reteach that class. Go back and look at that class. Pick a drill out that you need to do and reinsert it. Your students will reveal to you their weaknesses. Take the strength of the program, reinvigorate them by building their weaknesses and maintaining their strengths. <laughs> class 40, no it's hard to believe, halfway done if you're doing two classes a week, every week. Six months through the program, class number 40. Hard to believe, but it's the end of six months, class number 40. Let's start by reviewing some stuff, having a little fun with it. We got round kick, Nadabon, Nadabon in the air, 
Foul! Very nice. Bring it back. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this with your beginners, with your advanced people as well. We're going to do round kick. Foul! Not a bond on the floor. Foul! Not a bond in the air. Foul! Very nice. Good. That's the first drill. We do it on both sides, otherwise they'll get dizzy. Bring it back. One more time. Round kick, not a bond, not a bond in the air. Go! Ha! Ha! Foul! Very nice. Good. Now we're ready to move on to our second drill. Round kick, not a bond on the floor, not a bond in the air. Here it goes. Hey! Very nice. Good. Okay, another version of it. Here we go. We're going to back them up. Now we're going to do not a bond, switch not a bond. This is not traveling forward, nor is it moving backwards. Simply switching your feet. So you have them do not a bond. Switch their feet, not a bond. Okay, whole different skill set about balance, agility, and learning where your center is. So that's the second air drill. I want to follow this with an easy air drill because both of these are hard. So we're going to do up ball in place, potta chuggy, step back potta chuggy, back whip kick. Very nice. Bring it up, bring it up. Last time, again, these are defensive motions. So it's going to be up ball, potta chuggy, step back, potta chuggy, back, whip kick. Looks like this. Hey! Good. Now I'm going to walk them through because I want them to learn how to do it. We do up ball first, one. Skip back, two, potta chuggy. Step back. He doesn't move. Now I tell him to do round kick, hold it up. Round kick. Before he comes down, back hook kick. Good, okay? So if he does that in one motion, that is the advanced version. That's round kick and the back hook kick. Go! Oh. Nice, not bad, not bad. Again, that's for your advanced students. You got three sets of warm ups for this one. Round kick, not a bond on the floor, not a bond in the air. That's one. Not a bond, switch, not a bond. Two, up ball, potta chuggy, step back, potta chuggy, into back hook kick, or 360 back hook kick. That's the third set in the air. Wave master time again. You gotta guess by now, it's about timing. Still on that timing thing. So we're gonna work now on timing for round kick to the stomach side. What do you do for round kick to the stomach side? Well, there's a lot of things you can do, but you guys know the most basic one. He's gonna do round kick, he's gonna counter with back kick. He's gonna watch him. As soon as he sees him move, he's gonna try to beat him with the back kick. Ready, go! Oh! Good, okay. Now it can be that simple. You don't want to count it for them because you're missing the point of the drill. So again, maybe two lines, attacking with the round kick, he goes to the back of the line to get the back kick. So he's going to watch him with no motion first, and he's going to do round kick, he's going to back kick when he sees it coming. Oh! Good, very nice. Now listen to the hit on the bag and watch the hit. If he's good, he'll beat him or it'll make the same sound at the same time. Oh! Little slow, little slow. Right? Now here's the second level of it. I have them both bounce. Both people are in motion, because this is what happens when you're fighting. Ah! Not bad, not bad. The third version of this can be him trying to fake or check him. So he's going to try to trigger him before he goes. Looks like this. Ha! Ha! Go! You can see how that throws off the timing, but this is what happens when you're fighting. One more time, watch it again. It was way late, way late, right? But that's what happens when you're fighting. So again, first version, they just do it matching, no motion. Second with motion, third with checks, trying to fake. No motion, motion, checks. Let's take it to the second drill. Second drill, he's gonna round kick. Back kick, he's gonna answer with the second round kick. Ready, go! <laughs> very nice, good, very nice, very nice. Now remember, we can do this one with motion as well. He's going to try to use his motion. He's going to be moving. He's going to try to do round kick, back kick, round kick. Here we go. <laughs> very nice, good. So it doesn't matter what his timing is. He's just trying to get his second technique off. Okay, now we're going to follow this with round kick, back kick, round kick, back kick. Counters the second kick. He counters with another back kick. Ready? Here we go. Okay, good. He was a little late on the counters, but at least he recovered and got it back up. So if I were correcting him, I was teaching this class, I'd say, you know, you want to match that timing a little better. As soon as you come off that back kick, you want to be ready to back kick again, because you know he's coming to your stomach side to hit you. You got to be able to counter again. Here it goes. 
Very nice. Good. Now that second kick could have been anything from a back kick to a back whip kick. Choice is yours. Now we're ready to move on to the next drill. Okay, one last drill for fun. This is the Nottabon matching drill. I like to do this one in one line. He's going to Nottabon. As soon as he starts to see him spin, he's going to Nottabon. Not very practical, but it's a good endurance drill, good timing drill. Ready? Here it goes. Ah! Very nice. Good. They can do it. Motion, moving. Ah! Finally, they can do trying to check and fake. Ha! Ha! Ah! Good. As you can see, not a bond, not an easy technique to do. So you get started late. It is late. So you got to get started as soon as you see a move, but you got to learn to read those checks. Here's a way to teach your students how to read the check without danger of being hit. The bag stays between. That's what gets hit, not the student. No harm, no foul. Even if he misses it, worse it happens, the bag gets hit. But you want them to start feeling bad about that because that could happen during fighting, right? So we're building the memory in their mind. What happens during the drill happens during fighting. <laughs> Class number 40, the conclusion, okay? Timing drills to bring it back. Let's remember what we're doing. So again, we're working on timing, timing. He's going to round kick, he's going to back kick. He's going to round kick, he's going to back kick. Looks like this. Boom! Oh! Good. Another possibility on that, working on timing. He can check that round kick, switch out of the way, and counter round kick. Hey! Ha! Ha! Oh! Just like that. Let's watch it again. So he's going to check when he throws that back kick, he's going to move out of the way and throw his counter round kick. Hey! Excellent. Right. Now we're going to do the recounter or the trap. He could either back kick if he were quick enough, or he could just make the motion like he was going to back kick, trapping his counter. So in this situation, he would check, check. He would back step, he would round kick, and he'd absorb the second technique. Here it goes again, a little bit quicker this time. Very nice. And again, this could be a back hook kick. So he's going to do, instead of a back kick on the final kick, he's going to change that to a back hook kick. But this person has to drop their head so they don't get hit. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Very nice. Good. Again, these are all timing drills, possibilities. Teaching him what the possibilities are. Teaching him what the reactions and the possibilities are. Let's take it to one more level, though. Just for your advanced students, which you've seen already. He's going to round kick. He's going to back hook kick. Now, for my beginners, again, I like to practice this one way away. No possibility of contact. So I haven't practiced from here. They don't get any closer than this. Hey! Oh! Ah! Good. My advanced people, there's a way to practice this. But for now, we're just going to go slow, a little closer. He's going to duck his head out of the way, knowing the back hook kick is coming. So he's changing the plane of his head on the kick so that the kick passes his face. Watch. Hey! Ah! Very nice. Good. Now, again, here's another possibility for accounting and a timing. He checks, he back hook kicks, he switches and kicks underneath. Looks like this. Hey! Ha, ha, oh. Very nice. This is the trap for back hook kick. This is the trap. You know he's going to back hook kick. You give him a big motion, a big check. He goes, you switch and kick underneath. Looks like this. Hey! Ha, ha, ha. Very nice. Very nice. Again, these are the timing drills for the end of class 40. Class number 40, class number 40, we're finally done with it. The question is, what have you learned in all of the classes up to now? You've got six months of material almost. What have you learned in six months of material almost? You're getting ready for your next month of material. Timing, all the fundamental drills, all the fundamental steps. Now it's time to go back and think about what you've learned and how you're going to move forward. Do I need to go back and review any information? Do I know everything that I should have learned the previous classes? If not, go back through the manual. Look at the class schedule, say, I worked on this enough, I worked on that enough. Remember, each class had different information. There's a reason. Twice a week, the rest of that time, you're focusing on those drills in your other classes. By the time they get to this class, your Torch Club program class, they should be pre-framed. This is like a college class. You're learning the techniques in there, refining them, you're taking them to the next level, but they need to practice. They need to practice. You need to reinforce that. Involve them in the understanding of the technique. Have them explain the technique to you or have them show someone else. It is only when you show somebody else through words that
that you know whether or not you know a technique. If you can describe in words without demonstrating the technique, then you truly own it.